Okay. Our carbs have gone for a two hour journey through the ultrasonic cleaner, plus an hour soaking at 140 degrees. Do this to flush off any residue. We're going to rinse the carbs anyway. Hot, hot, hot. Really should have gloves on for this, but apparently I'm just a fucking retard at the moment. Should have gloves in here spraying this shit too, but nice and clean. Not clean enough. You can see, still got crap floating in here. That's the water from the tank. You want to rinse these off good. Use your blow gun. Dry the little passage we talked about. A little bit of shit just came out of there. Gotta blow everything out of there. Your overflow is at the bottom here. Gotta dry everything there. This is the carb bowl that was really messed up. It had all of that silty corn in it. Again. There, go through your overflow. Not too bad looking now. You can still see where it had the corn, but not terrible. Left, right. Which one had the shit in it? Right one, left one. Left one was worse. Now your carb bodies, same thing. You can see there's some, still some crap residue in there. Spray that out. Spray the bottom. Good there. You want to blow through your fuel inlet gently. Choke. Your air screw, your pilot, your main, and especially these. Bing will say to run wire through there. I don't know that I'm nutty about running wire through it. If you've got a real air compressor, I think you're okay blowing air through it. I've never had an issue. One carb done. That is our right carburetor. To the left. Try to speed this up a little bit. This isn't all going to fit on the video. Unless you want to watch a half hour's worth of me doing carburetors, which I think most people would rather punch themselves in the ball bag repeatedly than watch a half hour of carburetor rebuilding videos. Maybe that's just me. I do this shit too much. Okay. Fuel intake. Your air screw. Your pilot. Your main. Passages in the intake valve. We're good. We're clean. That's the left carburetor. Now we have this little bit of parts, our pilot jets, and that's it, and those are nice and clean, and uh, now we're ready to put this carb back together. So our carb is nice and clean, now it's time to put it back together. Have our air screw <coughs> and a little bit of alcohol on the rubber o ring. Air screw goes in here. And if we remember correctly, it was one quarter turn, uh, one half turn out from fully bottomed. It's 
we will return it to that setting, although that will change when we dial these carbs in. Our next step is going to be our main jet. This is our atomizer. This goes into the carb. The carb is upside down. It goes in this way. And that and that. So, as we can see, like this. Again, a little bit of alcohol in the o ring. Not super tight, just snug. And this goes off the top of that. And again, just snug. Now we have our pilot jet, which was the source of our problems to start. That gets screwed in until it stops. Again, not overly tight. We have a new gasket. And if you have a gasket that's distorted and it doesn't fit well, you can certainly put a little coat of grease along the cork, and the grease will hold it in place. This is our float needle. And our floats, and again we have a knurled end on this pin. So it doesn't matter which way this goes in, but sometimes you'll find it goes in easier one way than the other. It doesn't need a lot. Float bowl actually holds that in place. You see with the bowl on it, the pin can't move, so don't feel that it has to be even or you got to weld a thing in there or anything like that. Our next step is the choke. A little bit of gasket material left here to clean off. That is good. I need a choke gasket. We'll move on to the rest of this assembly. Here is our slide. We have a groove in this diaphragm. fits in the little slot on top of the carb. Next step is going to be the carb top. And we want copper anti-seas on these bolts. If you're sitting here with eight bolts in front of you, the four shortest ones are the ones for the top of the carb. The longer ones are for the choke.
again. I'm just tightening these down. I don't need to get crazy. This fucking Dorilla's crank some of these in. You gotta take them apart later and they won't come out. You end up drilling the tops off. There's no need for that. Excessive to work on these. That's it. Now I need to find a fucking choke gasket. We now have a new choke gasket. Lay the choke in place. Again, if you're doing this on the bike and you need to get it stuck on there, put a little bit of grease on it. That'll hold it in place. And also with these little copper anti-seize on the bolts. Make life easier for the next time you take it apart or for the next person who takes it apart. And now our car is complete. Sure, you didn't pick up any crap when it was locked in a device. All looks good. It's done. Now it's time to put them on the bike.